everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope that everyone is having a good day if you haven't already please like and subscribe to my youtube channel today i am going to talk about my difficulties of being an artist and how i overcome them number one is setting time aside to do my artwork and recording for my youtube channel i live in supportive living and i find it really hard to record me drawing or me chatting without people coming in so I let the people who I'm working with know I just tell them hey I would like to record for my YouTube channel today, could you please not come in for an hour or two so I can record the video. Number 2 is fitting time to film around my diabetes. This is a really big challenge for me because I sometimes I get up late because sometimes I may be in pain or tired, this means I do not have enough time in the day to draw or record my YouTube videos. So. The way I go about this is that I plan a day to film and the day before I'm going to film, I rest up well and I prepare myself for the next day. I also tell staff the day before so that they can wake me up in time so I can get up and have breakfast and lunch in time so I can have time to film before dinner. So that I can then upload to my YouTube channel. Number 3 is having enough supplies ready for when I film my drawings. I make sure that I have my supplies in for what I want to draw and I do find it hard and difficult to not overspend every time I order my art supplies, I mainly get my products from Amazon because they are good value and well known and reliable business. But they sometimes turn up late like I ordered some outlines before Christmas and they still have not turned up yet. So I'm waiting on them. I find these types of outlines so addictive to buy sometimes because the quality of them is brilliant. The way I go about this is I am trying to limit myself and try to do some digital art or something that I have already got at home. Number 4 is encouraging myself to do videos and draw. I find it hard to keep up with my YouTube channel at the start of the year I make videos for a couple of weeks but then I forget about it for a while and then the next year that I'm going to go to do it more often and then never happens. This is because it is hard managing my diabetes and my cerebral palsy alongside with having to manage and fight my battles with mental health illness which is called borderline personality disorder. This can get in the way of things quite a bit as I am learning how to problem solve that as well. The way I will go about this is to make a plan to film a YouTube video at least once a week and then build up to more. And to encourage myself to draw in between videos so that I can build myself a portfolio over time. This will help me to do more as I can then look at the hard work that I have created. Number 5 is promoting my business and artwork. I find it really hard to promote my business and artwork cause all promotions these days and I cannot afford to pay for the promotions. So, I have tried to look for free ones online but it is very hard to find this. The way I promote my business is that I do it through word of mouth or I create my posters on Canva and then I post them on Facebook and Instagram so that way I can advertise my business and artwork for free. I am planning to look at promoting my YouTube channel soon too. Thank you all for watching my video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you all.